Welcome to this new tutorial of Carrero X5. In this tutorial, I'll show you how can we design an iPhone on Carrero, so without using any other graphic software. So if ever you have been just remarks, it's not the image that I've been used for the promotion, publicity promotion of that phone. So here I'm dismounting it completely. So uh, control Z, just reposition them. Where they were. So, are you ready for this new exciting tutorial of Crunchyroll? Here we go. Next page. So, using our pen tool, just try to draw an object like I'm doing over here. You, you may use the grid. In order to facilitate yourself, in order to just move, have it more user. So, using the weight, just make sure that from edit over here, and view over here, it's snap to grid. So, therefore, now we just snap to grid, so that you're more able to have precise design. Alright? If you're not being able to use that also, if you have just started to learn Corrado, so whatever it's the best idea to do, so just insert the back pictures that can be downloaded from the net and using the transparency tool, just a uh, uniform transparency and make it more heterogeneous and just well, bring somewhere over right here, just right click and lock the object using the same pen tool, then you may just try to design on the object or something like that, a better way for. So there we are. That by the way are just uh, tips for you. And I'm gonna try and delete the object over here. There we are. Now so on here I just won't need the view way over here. Just try to duplicate the object by pressing plus. Take this node over here, press shift in order to just info. Click, shift, and drag it out a bit like that. I would say. Bring it down. Repeat the same step. There we go. Now once you're on the back, just make uh, another more shape in order to just make it so you, you may have to say snap will really facilitate your dance in all this in order to click and drag it on doing it. Uh, yeah, Alright. Using our pen to just add a little bit of a detail over here. There we go. the rest of details that can be used.
a speaker so just uh, draw a rectangle shape over here um, take the sharp tool and click and drag that to make it a, a corner over here a small corner, a circular corner or something like just convert it to curve click on the center once, estimate the center first click next to it here it is roll that one up and here on the option board you may just find the roll 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 convert that the one to curve convert the one to curve take that one, convert to curve and then just do it Right up a bit, and we roll. So the, the memory is of type of thing has been used to hook the packaging on shelf in the supermarket. So here we're going to use it as a speaker. So don't tell that to anyone. Uh, reduce it the size and double click on that. And using this, 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 I don't know how to call that. Just click and drag it down in order to ban it for the window. Just become louder. Wait for the fire. Place it somewhere now. Uh, that's how a beautiful uh, speaker as an iPhone. That's cool tech. Alright. Here we are. Once all the objects have been fit to its place. So now it's time for us to just fill it. So here the big box is black. Everybody knows that. We got a small thing over uh, here, I suppose. It's a uh, 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 small tool. Like over here. It's white. Bring it down. Bring it up. On. It deletes up one. We move the up one. And it's going to be white over here. Uh, bubble edge. Soft edge, good. Soft line up. There it is. Exact duplicate is off. Ah, it's good. Apply white. We're going in there. And we'll move the transparency first. Apply white. Don't fill it with any things. Take the transparency and bring it right to create space. We'll bring it to center over there. Here it is. More realistic. So our hook for packaging, no sorry speaker, just take some more mesh here over here, so like uh, click and drag to select some knob over here, just press shift and click on an, on a grey, 10% grey, that was bad, click over here and click it too. Grey metallic, so using fountain fill. If many people don't know how to use fountain fill, so just watch my previous tutorial, which was on how to create Windows 7 level. So in, in that tutorial, I'll just well explain how can we use fountain fill to spot colors like metallic. So I've already worked on that in order to save time, so I'm just doing to apply some 
Please add the right here. I think so. 